Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Escape Titanium Hybrid. The Titanium Hybrid is the highest trim level you can get in the 2021 Escapes. This one is decked out with a lot of nice features, including these nice roof rails up top here. Getting under the inside, you do have these intelligent access door handles, remote entry keypad on the door there, blind spot on the mirrors, ambient lighting in the door wells, foot handles and cup holders, memory seating, power window controls, power mirror controls as well, and you do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system equipped in here. Got a nice leather interior here with uh, leather front bucket seats that are heated and fully powered for both passenger and driver. To the left of the steering wheel, you do have your trunk release, gas cap release, lighting controls, and your dimming for the dashboard. Getting on in the Escape now, it is a hybrid. Start it up, it is completely silent, and you've got a nice look at these LED headlights in front of you here. You get a nice little notification saying ready to drive because you can't hear if it's actually on or not, so they let you know. Now you do have this fully digital display here in front of you. You've got a comm screen, you've got fuel economy settings, trip settings, tire pressure, and it's fully customizable. You can add more screens, such as a second trip odometer, this trip, EV coach, eco behavior, and seatbelt warnings. You could also bring up other menus in here, such as your audio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM. You've got navigation in here. You can go to a home, previous destination, favorites, points of interest, much more. You've got phone in here, so you can make a phone call right from your steering wheel. It's pretty convenient there. And you've got settings in here. You can go into brake coach, oil life, and neutral tow. And you've got a display setup where you can change to miles per hour and go into your eco coach as well. On the steering wheel, you do have adaptive cruise control on the left with your volume controls. Lane keep assist is on the blinker stock. Just add a little graphic down there for you. On the right, you do have your hands-free media controls and controls for your menu for the dashboard. Moving over to the left, you do have your Sync 3 sound system. This home screen here gives you a preview of navigation built in. You've got a preview of what radio station, your phone, and a power flow section. Just shows you your idling right now, but it can show you the continuous power flow of the vehicle. Going over to the phone, you do have the option to add your own cell phone, take calls, listen to your own music. Navigation, you get a nice working map here with live traffic views. Set up a traffic list, screen view, navigation settings, points of interest, a home setting, and a work setting. You've also got various vehicle settings in here, such as sound. This is where you can go and control your surround sound. Thankfully, thank you to the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Driver resistance is equipped in here as well, such as adaptive cruise, lane keep assist, pre-collision screen side recognition, rear view camera, blind spot information, grade assist, cross traffic, driver's alert, and traction control. You've also got other settings in here, such as general. This is where you can change your temperature units, your tire pressure units, touch screen beep, system updates, and more. And then moving over, you get navigation settings as well, map route preferences, and navigation preferences. Then you do have uh, ambient lighting in here as well. If you go into the vehicle settings, go down here and click on ambient lighting. This is, controls the brightness here. You can turn this up and down. As you can see, cup holders down by the footwell and then your door handle there. Looks really nice at nighttime. You could also control your power lift gate in here, wipers, lighting, locks, and much more. Moving downwards, you do have your dual zone climate control with your heated seats and a heated steering wheel, and then your rear and max defrosters, as well as AC. Below that, you do have two USB ports and a 12-volt outlet, and then your center console, you have your gear lever, uh, electric parking brake, brake hold, and then you have various drive modes and parking assess. Uh, your drive modes do change with the display. They're dynamic, so you get eco, sport, slippery, sand, and snow assist, and then normal. This does have all-wheel drive, so it can take you through plenty of different terrains. Up top, you do have an auto-dimming rearview mirror and your universal garage door opener. Moving over towards the back of the Escape now, you do have your privacy glass around the rear. Your parking sensors are on the back bumper here. Review camera is right above the license plate. Getting into the trunk, press the button once and the truck, trunk will come up for you. Power lift tailgate. A lot of trunk space in here. You've got a nice under storage with a spare tire and a few other compartments on the side with your fuel nozzle as well. This just slides back down. Then you have a nice area here to lay some cargo. You've got a 12 volt outlet on this side here and then you, from the front seating area you can fold the back seats down to increase storage space greatly. Closing the trunk you just press that button up there and the trunk will come back down for you as you walk away from the vehicle. Jumping into the back seating area you do have cup holders on the doors there and cubbies. Rubber floor mats are equipped in the back of the seating as well. You can get your nice rear seats here with the headrests. Getting on inside, you do have a lot of space back here. You've got a nice storage unit in front of you to put any papers or anything you might have to hold on to. You've got two adjustable vents back here for climate and two more USB ports as well for your rear passengers. 
For your two rear passengers, they do have a nice leather armrest here to share with two cup holders to keep their beverages very still if you're going around those windy turns down a road. And then you've got grab handles and an individual dome light for each rear passenger. Moving over towards the front of the Escape, you can tell you do have your nice LED lighting system up here. High beams, low beams, and fog lights. Then you've also got your front parking sensors up front here for the pre-collision. And then your active grill shutters are back in there as well to help cool the motor. All around, a very, very nice Escape Titanium. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this 2021 Ford Escape Titanium Hybrid. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.